Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's go ahead and pray together as we come to the Word of God. Father, we're thankful for the day you've given to us, and Lord, our prayer today is for your help and aid as we come to thy Word, and that you would speak to our hearts and help us understand the power of prayer and the necessity of prayer. And so, God, we pray that you'd help us now, and we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Let's go ahead and take our Bibles and open to Isaiah chapter 37. Isaiah chapter 37, it's, a, it's an amazing chapter of God's Word. We find that, it, of course, in 30, chapter 36, uh, Rabshakeh of, uh, of Assyria, Sennacherib's servant, comes and he, and he you know, in, uh, speaks and intimidates the, the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Uh, they're waiting for the Assyrians to come and, and obliterate them. However, um, you know, we find that Hezekiah, the godly king, uh, takes great uh, takes measures into his own hands, and uh, he does what you and I should do. In chapter thirty seven, we find what we should do when we're faced with uh, with with a problem. What is what is the first thing you do when you are faced with an issue with a with a problem? Uh, well, Hezekiah solicited the help of God. Uh, he goes to the temple, of course, and he uh, and he finds. Um, Isaiah the prophet, and, and, and then Hezekiah himself prays. Look what the Word of God says in verse 14. Um, it says, And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. And of course, this was a letter of intimidation. Uh, Reb Shekith basically said, You know, uh, the gods of all these other peoples could not deliver them from the hands of my father. And, he, and then he falsely accused God that, that God was not able, because of what he had done everywhere else, that God is not able to deliver Jerusalem either. And, and Isaiah, I'm sorry, and Hezekiah was perplexed. He was distraught. And so now he's got this letter. He's read it. And he says, And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed unto the Lord, saying, He, he took it to the Lord. He, the, the issue, he had unfolded it, unrolled it, whatever, and laid it before God, and, and the Lord heard and answered his prayer. You know, later on in the chapter, we find that, that the Lord smote the armies of the Assyrians and uh, hun, uh, said 104 score and 5,000 men were killed in one night uh, by, the act, by an act of God. And uh, lo, what, we, what we learn today is simply this. That you and I, when faced with problems, and even when we're not faced with issues, we simply cast our burden upon the Lord. Lay it at the feet of the Lord. Allow God to handle it. You and I have no strength. You and I have no ability. It's only by the work of God that, that solutions come, that answers are given, and that problems are solved. Christian today, won't you do what Hezekiah did? Won't you cast your burden upon the Lord? Won't you lay it at his feet and pray and ask God to help you? Ask God uh, to bring the solution. Ask God to fix the problem because there's nothing too hard for God. Our the most arduous situations that we face, the most intimidating and grueling circumstances that we encounter are nothing for God. He can, he can answer. He can do it. He can help you. And uh, may God increase our faith and our trust in him. And may we pursue him in our daily lives. Father, we're thankful for the word of God today. And Lord, our, again, our prayer is simply this, that in moments of hardship and despair, when we do not know where to go, when our hearts are overwhelmed, Lord, may we simply come to thee. Uh, may we present our burden to you, laying it at thy feet, and um, Lord, allow you to do what we cannot do. Lord, we can do nothing apart from thee. Lord, we know that, that you're the only reason uh, our prayers are answered. You're the, only, you're the only source of help. And so, God, we pray uh, that you would strengthen our faith today and help us be uh, be a people of prayer. And we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. As always, it's great to have you. We're praying for you, and Lord willing, we'll see you back here tomorrow at noon. God bless you.
Have a great day. Bye-bye.